shot. Up, oh, that is in, Murray with the win! A room to run. Not a lot I can do about that. And this kick is a dribbler on the ground. Tigers will start first and ten. That is Carson Mitchell with the return. Davis with the tackle. Tigers coming in after a win over Joey Barber. And a victory over Rolla the previous week in a 70-6 win over Bolivar. I apologize. My other camera device was not wanting to cooperate, so we're just going to stick with that for now. First and 10 for the Tigers. Handoff. And that is probably Sawyer with the run. That is... That is Baker, sorry. Yep, that is Sawyer Baker. I was right. So Baker with a nine-yard run, second and maybe one. Tigers have essentially adopted a running-only offense this season. Again, handoff in the back. That is Saunders. Saunders has room. He's going to be knocked out of bounds near the 30. That's a first down. So Caden Saunders with a big run for the Tigers to start this. So first and ten, seven minutes to go in the first quarter. That's a toasty one today. And the Tigers are off on this quarterback keeper. Ryder Wells decided to hang on to it, and this is going to be a six, maybe seven yard gain. So, second and maybe three coming up. So, second and three for the Tigers on the 24. Tigers this time have three receivers on the left. We may have something up their sleeve. We're going to see if they use them. Nope. Saunders with the run. That is – that's going to be close. It's at least a third and one. So Saunders, did he get the first? He's going to be short by about a yard. So third down for the Tigers after the handoff to Saunders in the backfield. Again, Saunders back there, but Baker will get it. That's a first for the Tigers. Still on his feet. That's a first and goal for the Tigers now. And Sawyer Baker here. Get my instant replay thing set up so I don't miss anything for you. Once again, thank you, Rustic Treasures of St. Robert, Missouri, the old gas station there on Interstate 63. Can't miss it. Tigers down the middle. That is good. That is Baker, looks like, coming away with the football. Tigers first on the board. Let's take a look back at the touchdown. Basically a straight dive play into the end zone. A little bit of a curve to it, but Waynesville on the board first. And Tigers going for two here. Not very many teams go for the kick. Surprisingly, at the varsity level, there's not a lot either. So Sawyer Baker will convert on the conversion, and we'll be back after this PSA with some more Tiger football. Here's a message from the U.S. Fourth and a long way to go. Oh, 
Oh, this punt is going deep for the Tigers. They're going to return it. Waynesville on the run. Saunders, he has room. He might have a touchdown here. If he could break one more tackle. Saving tackle. That is number seven of the Tigers of St. James. And I don't have a number seven on here to give him credit. But can good tackle for number seven of the St. James Tigers. Number seven of the Waynesville Tigers. Saunders with the run. I believe we're all working together here. I'm going to take a quick. Do apologize for the technical issues we had there. I don't know what is going on, but I think the heat's causing some problems. Tigers, this is into the end zone. So take a look back at that touchdown here. 31 on the touchdown. And Tigers will go for two on this. 14-0 currently. Baker with the run. Two-point conversion is good. 16-0. So with that, it is 16-0. Tigers on top. We'll be back after this. And just to add to the numbers there, Baker will kick. That is out of bounds. So first and 10, other side of the 40 for St. James. And again, thank you, Olson Solutions, Curie Bank of Pulaski County, making all these sports possible. And Rustic Treasures, our instant replay sponsor. So split receivers, twins on the left, handoff down the middle. Short run for Dom Golcion, I believe, or is that number nine? Nope, that is Witten Waisner. Gain of one, second and nine. So St. James came out in a passing set and instead handed the ball off. Again, the Tigers, Twins on the left side. Another handoff. This time, nowhere to go. That handoff was to number 32, Lucas Bell. It's going to bring up a loss third and 10, maybe 11. Approaching a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Tigers up 16 to 0. Two scores. Score by We'll look back at those in a in a little bit here. And quarterback in trouble. Nowhere to go. This is a fourth down. That's going to be a loss of about five or six. Fourth and 15, maybe 16 coming up. So Peyton Wrecker not able to get any positive momentum out of that. Approaching one minute in the first. And I want to thank everyone for watching and joining us tonight here. A little humid issues. And this is up. That's a good punt. Tigers return it. That is Saunders. He's going to try something here. He has room. And St. James still trying to pull Saunders down. Saunders will make it back to the 
other side of the field, we got a player down in a penalty, so we're going to take a break. We'll be back after this PSA. St. James Tigers in the red. Both teams are Tigers here. And off to the races. We are almost off to the races. That's a gain of 11. So that's a first down for the Tigers. And Tigers fighting through it here. That run was picked up by number 20, Seth Hans. And that'll end the first quarter. We're going to take a one-minute PSA break. We'll be back for more Tiger football. Waynesville Tigers on the... Tigers handoff. Big stop in the backfield. Number nine of St. James on that. Nine of Waynesville, so Weisner with the tackle and the run was on. I don't have a number nine for Waynesville. Second down and long. So that'll bring up second and 14 after a four-yard loss. That's my brain working for you right there. It's about out of memory after that, so don't worry. Tigers, we're going to have a sweep. This is, we have a penalty flag. This might be coming back on the Tigers. Run by, that is 31, Eno Guadalupe. There's a penalty flag on this run, though. And this may be coming backwards. It is going backwards again, I believe. Possibly another block in the back. This is against the Tigers. So Waynesville's again going to lose all their momentum, and they'll be back where they started a few minutes ago. 7-10 remains in the first half. Waynesville up 16-0 in the contest. Once again, the replays tonight provided by replays tonight, and tomorrow provided Rustic Treasures. For everything you need, they will help you out with hollow, Halloween decorations and everything. But the Tigers, they're going to bring you a treasured moment right here. This is a quarterback keeper and Waynesville with the run. Take a look at the finish of that. Broke the edge and just right there, Ryder Wells was out and he was gone. So just like that, Tigers going for two here. 22-0 now, Waynesville. Seven minutes to go in the first half still. One minute into the second quarter. And conversion. Pass is caught. So we're going to have a penalty on the Tigers. And this is probably going back. Yep, Tigers are going to redo this after the penalty flag. So conversion, no good. This might have been too many men on the field. Didn't quite get off. Tigers will do it again. They're still up 22-0 after the touchdown. And quarterback. This is back again to the other side. Same play. Pretty much the same play. And with that, it is 24-0. Tigers on top. We'll be back after this PSA with more Tiger football kicking off back to in St. James, Missouri. Waynesville Tigers kicking off to the St. James Tigers. This kick is back, being returned by 29, I believe, of St. James. And that 
is Ryan Engelbrick. He is able to pick up a few yards. So first down for the Waynesville Tigers. So Tigers, three offensive possessions, three touchdowns. Still have all the timeouts here. I don't have an update that one yet, but. And I think we have a time, another fullback handoff here. It is. Tigers are there to stop the Red Tigers. And no gain. That was number 44 of Waynesville again. If you know that, that is Sawyer Baker. That's going to result in a loss of about five. So Baker also runs the ball. He plays defense. Tiger line for Waynesville is very stout. And going back, quarterback, that's a sack. That is, who is the sack on that? It's going to be number three of the Waynesville Tigers. So Drew Friesmeyer with the sack, third and about 20 now. Coming up, St. James, they're going backwards at the moment. It is 5.45 and counting going down. St. James Tigers in the red uniforms, Waynesville in the white. Tomorrow, Varsity Tigers will have live coverage of that game as they'll be coming from Hillcrest High School in Springfield, Missouri. Quarterback got away, but that's a tackle in the back. Another saving tackle, this time number 54. That is Kush Panito. Fourth and about, eh, we'll say 20. Not much of a difference on the numbers at this point. St. James is going to punt the ball away. Once again, thank you, Olsen Solutions, for coverage of middle school football. And this ball not going very far. Tigers are going to down it. Either way, same difference. Tigers first and 10 in St. James territory. So with 4.35 to go, the Tigers, while well, the chains reset and everything here, the Waynesville Tigers coming off a couple big wins. The first game of the season, a 70 to 6 win over Joel or uh, Bolivar. They picked up a big win over Rolla, and they also have a win over, I think, 32 0 last week over Joey Barber. Timeout, St. James. We're going to take another timeout. We'll be back after this. Of Cross Creek Realty, by the way, specifically. But again, thank you for that. That is Sawyer Baker with the run. And Sawyer Baker, not quite a first. We're about a yard short. So it's a second down coming up for Waynesville. Second and one. It's Baker with the big run. And this time appears to be a quarterback keeper. That's enough for a first. And that was Drew Friesmeyer. Not sure if he was the quarterback originally intended for that, but appeared to be in the quarterback position. 
several players that can play multiple positions in these ball games. Tigers again. They may have the edge if they can get the block. Not going to be there. That's a touchdown saving tackle. That is 46 of St. James. That is Levi Carnasali. So Carnasali with the save on that. That'll bring up second and ten. Three minutes in the first half remain as the Tigers slowing down a little bit this year. St. James defense holding their own right now. And once again, the line right there, they did not take the bait. They held their own. And the run by Guadalupe, nowhere to go. Tackle was on 78, Anthony Ferguson. So again, a big saving touchdown. That's a gain, though. It's fourth down. And four. Maybe. I thought it's third down. It's only third down. I was about to say it should be third, but I'm going off what they have. So it should be third down. It is third down, not fourth. Once again, thank you for everyone for joining me tonight. Hopefully you join me tomorrow night for more Tiger football. Varsity action. And again, that is a first down run. Drew Friesmeyer with the run for another first. That'll stop the clock. 224 remain in the first half. Again, thank you for joining me tonight. Big news update for varsity football action. The Waynesville Tigers are now ranked a little higher than Ozark. So currently, if the season was to end, they would have the home game for the playoffs. The winner would, of course, play Nixa, most likely. Nixa defeating Joplin last week. Sawyer Baker with the run. Second and nine. And Tigers pass incomplete. That'll bring up a third down. One thirty eight to go in the first half. Waynesville. They're in the red zone. Looks like they'll have to make it to the about the 12, 13 yard line for another first down set of chains. And this is a first. This is a first and goal from about the one. So take a look back at this play real quick here. Tigers nearly took it to the house. First down run for Waynesville. Ball at the one yard line. First and goal. I believe that might have been number 11 on that. So first and goal for Waynesville. Tigers run this in. That's a touchdown, Waynesville. So Friesmeyer with the touchdown this time to add to the numbers. Tigers moving the ball around. Take a look back at that and right down inside the goal. It's Tigers going for two. Nothing there. Sawyer Baker with the run. That is good. 32-0. Tigers on top. We'll be back in one minute. 106 and a half. If you need a giant six-foot chicken, they will find it for you. This is returned by 21 of St. James. Big return. 
One more block. He might have been free on that. We'll take a look back at the return here. And Brandon Arnold with the return. And Waynesville with the stop. I believe it was 23. That is Jax Augustine. Or Augustine, probably. So a minute to go in the half. St. James, they have one timeout left. Tigers still have three. Waynesville is three points from a running clock in the second half, though. Waynesville Tigers have really come out. Just the running game has been on point. And this appears to be a... That's a fumble. Arnold will fall on it. Still St. James ball. Second down and about 15 after the loss. Clock continues to run. St. James might elect to let the clock run down. It appears they're on that. They're not in a hurry at least. I don't know if they're doing that intentionally, but they are definitely not in a hurry. Might have some offsides that was missed right there. Tigers are there through the line. 29 with the pickup for St. James. And I believe 50 on the tackle. Tackle is Tristan Bobia. And 29 is Edelbrick. Edelbrick. And that will end the half, I believe. So that is halftime. We'll be back in 10 minutes for more football here from St. James. Here's kicking off to St. James to start. Second half, anyway. Kick is high. It is picked up off the ground. Out of bounds. First and 10 at the 35, St. James. Caden DeLuca with the return on that by the Tigers. Waynesville up 32-0. They are in the white with orange letters. St. James in the red uniforms with white. Oh. I done broke my clock, huh? Better fix it. There we go. St. James, first and 10. I think he's trying to pass. It's going to be a keeper, though. And that's a big gain for St. James. Out of bounds. First and 10. That is a 30-yard pickup for the St. James Tigers. I believe that is number one of St. James. Big run by Peyton Wrecker for the big pickup. First and 10, tackle started inside. If the tackle is initiated before out of bounds, the clock does continue to run. St. James again, first and 10. This time the ball's loose. Quarterback Wrecker will fall on it. It's going to result in a loss of maybe six or seven. And we're going to have a timeout. Receivers on either side, split backs. And this inside handoff is going nowhere. Lucas Bell with the run. It's going to bring up third and about 20 now. And again, join us tomorrow night. We'll be live in Springfield's. Uh, Hillcrest High School. 
as the Tigers and the Hornets will square off in the Battle of the Ozark Conference. Tigers 1-4 on the season. Hillcrest 0-5 looking for their first win. And that's a big run. That's going to bring up fourth down, though. Not a lot of yards on the gain. Very good pickup, though. Enough for about a six-yard gain. Fourth and 14 coming up for St. James. Next week, the Waynes will be back at home. This is our only road game of the season. And this kick will be fielded by the Tigers. That is number four. Nowhere to go. That is a... All right, then. We've got a flag and a hat, so... I'm assuming when the hat goes, there is something not very positive. And we're going to have probably, well, we'll see what's going on here. We got a All right, we have So this is on the Tigers. This is a double block in the back foul, I believe. We're going to see where the ball lands. It's a first and ten, though. <laughs> As Brendan Arnold of St. James gingerly brings the hat to the official. So first and 10 from deep in St. James territory for Waynesville. It appears about the seven yard line. Tackle in the backfield for a loss. That's a loss of about four. Second and 14, ball at the three. Thank you for watching from California there. And the run is off. That is a short gain by the Tigers. Not really a short gain, but it's a actually a pretty long gain. Oh, they are going to give them the first. I thought he was short on the play on by Williams. It appeared he was short, but they gave him the first, so. We'll take it from there. Tigers again line up. Waynesville's off. Still on their feet. And the Tigers with a big run. Caden Saunders, I believe, uh, back here. Saunders looks like he's all right. Went off with, got his hand or something caught right there. This is a second down and about three coming up. Seven-yard gain for the Tigers. Seth Hans on the run. Hans, Saunders, and Bakers are the three names about running the football with Waynesville with this eighth-grade group. And Tigers, again, St. James is there for the stop. That's going to be a first. So once again, that'll move the chains. Clock continuing to tick away. It is not running clock yet, though. It's only 32-point difference right now. St. James doing a great job on defense, forcing the Tigers back pretty far. This is another first. Tigers, they're going to have some more room out of bounds. Clock should continue to roll once the clock resets, but that's a first down by Friesmeyer now. 
We have an injury. Like he's all right. And Tigers line up again. Back off. Hand to the back. 31 again. This is in the end zone. This should be a touchdown, Tigers. Pretty good turn on the corner there. That's going to bring up the running clock now. And that is Guadalupe, I believe. Hopefully I said that name right. Conversion is good. 40-0, to zero, Waynesville on top. Tigers will kick off to St. James. and Kick is off. That is returned by... By St. James. He has some room. He will be taken down in the backfield. First and 10. Looks like number 17. That is Caden DeLuca. Now the clock will continue to run. Waynesville still has eleven in this season to play. And St. James taking their time here. Then join us next week again. Earl, we'll, we'll join us this weekend, actually, Saturday. We'll have plenty of youth football action. Those games from Waynesville Middle School. So plenty of football this weekend to watch. If you can, check out the Missouri Tigers as they open SEC action also. Saturday, I believe they'll face Vanderbilt. Short gains, second and nine coming up. This Tiger squad has some size on them here. St. James in the split backs, looking to pass. Quarterback is going to be sacked, though. Nowhere to go on the play. That looked like 22. That is Isaiah Mua, I believe. That's going to be third and about 12 coming up. As the clock runs down, this might be the last play of the third quarter. Also, we're looking ahead for basketball. Besides Waynesville, that pass is caught. That's 32. That is Caden Chain. Nope. Never mind, wrong 32. Lucas Bell. But that'll bring up fourth down. Might have lost a couple on that play. But we'll have Frisco League basketball to start the basketball season off. That game, Those games will be in Lakeway every year. This punt is back. Tigers are going to get a hand on it. Still on their feet. And this is a, trying to see the number. Some fan noise for the moment. Hand off, back to the Tigers. Tigers on their feet and uh, two stiff arms on that. That is a touchdown, Tigers. Number 20, I believe, on that. So Seth Hance with the touchdown. First play from the line of scrimmage, and... Tigers going for two once again. Out of the backfield, that is 
Guadalupe with the conversion. 48-0, Tigers on top. Tigers, short kick. And looks like Edelbrick will bring the ball down. No return on that. First and 10 for St. James. Clock should be going. But it is not. St. James, first and 10. I want to thank Security Bank also for making all these sports possible. A to Z Exterminators, Autoglass Central for sponsoring various sports throughout the year, Gan Johnson Insurance for your coverage of the Dixon Bulldogs. Nowhere to go on this. Pass to Bell. Bell's going to lose a couple yards on the play. It's so a second and 12 for St. James. Once again, we'll be back home next week. I believe the Tigers will play Rolla. No, they already played Rolla, so I think next week's Lebanon. Either way, we'll be home next week. Join us tomorrow night. We'll be in Springfield as the Tigers will face Hillcrest on the road. And then Saturday, we'll have multiple games, including the Tiger Frogs, Chiefs, and other teams of the WYF. That's a short gain. It's going to bring up third and about five, maybe four. So St. James moving the ball now. They are the Tigers in the red. They have the more classic looking uniforms. Kind of like that red. Waynesville, they got the extra striping going down the sides. And another big run. This is a another first down. So St. James moving the ball now. Lucas Bell, the runner on that. Remember when you stop by Rustic Treasures, tell them code word TIGERS1, and they will give you a special treat. Just tell them I sent you there. Out of bounds. That's a big run. And Brendan Arnold with the run. That's another first down. So St. James Tigers... Fighting it out a little bit here, close to the end of the ball game. Then, of course, we'll have three away games for basketball for boys, three for girls, plus tournament coverage of the Rawa tournament and St. James tournament. And then we'll have some soccer coverage coming up. We'll be from we'll be live at Parkview and live at Rolla later this season. Then we'll be live from Ozark High School outside of Springfield for districts. And this is a quarterback keeper. That's a big run. That's going to bring up second down. Not quite enough for a first. Second and maybe one. That is Wrecker with that gain for St. James. Three minutes remain in this ball game. I'll 
also some River Pass supporters. You know, we've had uh, we've had many people that have supported us in the past. American Family Insurance agent Teresa Stafford still supporting the Tigers. So once again, thank you for her support. Second and short for St. James out of the shotgun. Handoff. Still on his feet. Big gain for Bell. So Lucas Bell again with that pickup. That's another first down. So St. James holding her own at the end of this ball game. Out of that. And new quarterback in. This is a snap to 21 in the backfield. That is Brendan Arnold. So Arnold with a five yard pickup, second and five. Clock now under two minutes to go. Waynesville will pick up another victory here. St. James fighting valiantly here in the end of the ball game. And a big thanks to Taylor Olson for making middle school games possible. Of course, good luck to Carter there from Taylor. Hand off to 29. Here's came out with the offense. And again, St. James with the run. Once again, Arnold with the pickup. That'll bring up fourth down. This is fourth and go for it territory. This might be where you just kick a field goal and see what happens, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Can't really hurt nothing in this situation. Neither team has forced a turnover, which has been a very good contest. 20 seconds remain. St. James has a chance, and they are stopped on fourth down. This is Tiger football going the other way, but the clock will run out. And with that, we're going to have a final score here in a few seconds, but we're going to call it early. It is 48-0, Waynesville Tigers on top. Thank you for joining us. We will see you tomorrow night from Hillcrest High School in Springfield at 7 p.m. Have a good night and shut up. That